How you doing, Steve Noble, Noble Moto? What we're doing today, uh, I've got a, I'm gonna replace a primary cover gasket on my 05 Dyna here. I put this cover on about 25,000 miles ago. Um, really just switched to a black one just because it was a little more aesthetically pleasing, no other reason than that. Uh, put some other brand gasket on there and not long after it began to leak out, kind of like a weeping leak out around the shifter plate here and then around the main primary gasket. And since then I've just kind of been maintaining, changing oil wherever need be and just kind of cleaning up as she goes. Um, now I'm not one to have my hardly leak oil like a lot of people, uh, if at all possible, I try to fix those leaks. Um, so I was wondering if it was the aftermarket cover or maybe it wasn't like good machine surface. I called Cometic because right here in Cleveland or the greater Cleveland area. Uh, see what they had going on and they said they their primary gasket will fix um, fix gaps up to pretty large. They didn't give me an exact number or maybe they did I just don't remember but it's a gasket that will fit up to a pretty big gap or fill up to a pretty big gap. So uh, we're gonna swap it out with Cometic's products see how she does. Um, even write a little review about this probably on my blog on my website. Um, but let's see what we got going on here. All right, the unboxing. Yeah, how big these things are on YouTube. All right, so in here we have our uh, Cometic smaller gaskets here. Uh, we got our larger O-rings, which would be on the inner primary. Uh, then all our small little O-rings here for the shifter pads and then the uh, input shafts and stuff. Um, since the inner primary is not leaking, I'm not going to screw with it. We're just going to focus really on the outer primary or the inner to outer primary seal. But we'll be using this shifter plate and a couple of these small little O-rings here on the shifter tube. So we'll put that to the side. And then in here, we have the actual primary cover gasket. And uh, looks like it's got a, uh, like a little metal backing plate in there. And then uh, some type of like a foam fibrous material on the outside of it. Uh, might even be a little rubbery or a little silicone-y. Actually, it looks pretty awesome. Uh, it's a lot better than just the... Uh, paper fiber one that was on there before um, and I'm not even sure exactly what the MoCo actually put on here um, so yeah there's our new setup uh, so let's pull this all apart and we'll uh, get right to it here all right we got going on first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pull the uh, shifter tube off here and we're gonna replace these o-rings now these weren't leaking, but hey, the new ones are there in the kit. So we'll break that free there. Trying to drop the washer or anything back in there as you take it all out. Pull that right off of there. Should whoop, come right out of there. Don't drop your clip here. Now you got your uh, shifter tube right about here. Everything looks pretty good in here. Get that little piece of dirt out of there. All right, so we have our shifter tube off here. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to pull these O-rings off of here. Tiny little screwdriver. I'll pop them right on up out of there. Drop that one on the floor. Then we're going to take, let's see here where you can see it. Like I said, trying to damage the plastic as you're doing this. Just uh, popping right up off of there. Set those off to the side. And make sure, of course, you don't want to get these mixed up with your new O rings. Slap it to the side there. Check her out. Looks pretty clean. So grab new ring O rings out of the package and then I'll pop them on there. All right here, so got our new O-rings here in the package. So pull these out of here and uh, try to drop anything as we're at it here. See what all we got going on. Let's see, got your larger uh, lip seal here for your uh, input shaft for your transmission. Um, got a starter shaft seal there. And uh, here we have these three O-rings, which are going to go to that shifter tube. I'm just going to stash these back here in the plastic. And we're going to take our shifter tube here. We're going to put, hopefully you can see this, pop that one down on there like so. I'm going to take the next O-ring, roll it over top. should roll right over there with your fingers. If you have any trouble, uh, just uh, 
I'm gonna put a little grease on there. Should slide right over. Make sure there's no burrs or anything on here. That's pretty much that. Now for reassembly, we're gonna take this, slide in there, and then our uh, little metal clip right here, if you can see that, will actually hold the thing in place. So, got a lot of nice good grease here on the uh, shifter shaft. So we're gonna slide this in over top, in through the hole there. All right, now we're gonna take our bowl here. We got a little bit of a uh, blue Loctite. I think this is Permatex. Whatever, one brand's as good as another. Got some medium strength thread locker here. Uh oh. All right. All right, we have our bolt here. Got some medium strength thread locker here. And uh, just put ever so slightly a little drip in there. A lot of stuff you don't actually need Loctite on a Harley. Uh, despite popular belief, you just put it down to factor proper torque specifications. But this, since there's a lot of leverage on it, um, and you stomp on with your foot, we're going to put a little dab of thread locker on there. A little bit goes a long ways. No reason to get carried away with this stuff. And we're going to slide the um, one. Got the up close cams. Hopefully, you can see what's going on here. So, we're going to slide the little uh, shifter plate right back there into that last groove. Now, we got a little bit of red thread locker on the bolt here. Medium strength thread locker, that is. And we are going to. Start the bolt in here, like so. All right, now we're going to get started in there. I'm going to take our socket wrench here. Just run around in tight. First in snug. Just like that. Target to manufacturer specifications. Right about there. All right, uh, so we got a new primary gasket here. Uh, I said the... Uh, awesome one supposed to fill the gap so yeah, hang it up here our two little alignment pins I want to make sure all the bolt holes line up and the gasket isn't drooping down or any weird spaces there that could end up giving us problems down the road and we try to uh, put it all back together um, have a couple bolts ready have your allen wrench ready all right have the primary gasket hung up on there our primary cover here. Everything's all cleaned off, we're ready to go. So we're gonna pop this sucker right up on there, on the studs. Got a couple bolts at the ready here, and the T handle Allen wrench. So we're not gonna tighten anything down. Just get the bolts started. Enough to keep the gasket lined up, keep the cover hanging in place. Let's start with another one back here. Gonna run this in, but not till not to where the head bottoms out. Just enough to hang it in place. Now we're gonna go around the thing, put all the bolts in, uh, start them all in, uh, then we'll torque them on lamps. All right, got our bolts on. Uh, so we got our shifter plate here. Um, this is one of my problematic areas. Um, so I cleaned the surface off really good. Now there is some coating here, just some paint, uh, but Comatic says that shouldn't be a problem. They say this gasket should cover it. Um, so it is a pretty thick gasket. It is pretty deep of the foam rubbery material that's on there. So we're going to plop this into place here, just like that. If you have problems getting your gasket to stick in place, you know, it keeps wanting to fall out, kind of like that. You can take a little grease, put it on the back side of the gasket. Just a little dab will kind of work like a glue. Now we got our uh, shifter plate here. We're going to slide that over top. Slide that right into place. We're going to look through the holes here. Make sure our bolts line up as they should and do. Make sure the gasket lines up too. So we're going to take, uh, I'm going to do these two bolts here first. Because these two longer bolts here actually help hold the primary cover in place. These two uh, just do this shifter plate here. So for starters, 
going to start those in there. And once again, take our D handled Allen wrench, run these in. You might find you have Torx bits. I personally hate Torx bits. So I, one by one, I've replaced all these bolts out with uh, stainless steel Allen head socket head cap screws. Um, all right, next step, we're going to torque all these down. Um, now, there is a torque pattern to this and then a torque specification. Um, the pattern itself, I will post a picture of it at the end of this video so you can see. And then the torque spec is to 84 to 108 inch pounds. Right. Um, so, we're going to start snugging them all up in order. So, first one. And we're going by the uh, shop service manual on this. So, to there. And to there. I'll go slow for the first run through here. And after that, we'll put it all in time lapse as I run around this whole thing. It's very important to torque these things to spec and in the proper order. That way you don't warp and twist the cover as you're doing it. All right, everything's snugged down. Oops, sorry. 13 and bolt 14. All right, from here, we're going to hit. All right, got a little tip right here. Service manual tells you to torque these to spec, then put these two in, torque them to spec. Don't do that. What happens is you can potentially cock this plate a little bit, and when you go tighten down these two, you'll never get them tight enough. So, snug these suckers up down in here. Then we're going to go back and torque these outer two to spec. This way, we know the whole plate is tightened up evenly. Let's snug that one up. Snug that one up. Snug that one. And that one. Now I'll go back and tighten them all up and torque them all. All right, there you have it. Um, everything's on there, everything's torqued to spec. A uh, piece of advice. Before you put this plate on, you might want to add oil to the primary case. Otherwise, you have to take it all back off and then uh, add oil, then go back to the whole torque down process again. Even the best mechanics forget things. Yep, so really uh, optimistic about this uh, product here. Uh, everything went on there really well. Everything lined up nicely. No garbage or anything went along with it. Uh, it seemed to seal up and seat down in place just as it should. Um, pretty hopeful about this uh, Kometic product working out for me. Um, like I said, you got any problems, give them a call. They're really good people. Got great customer service, at least in my experience so far. Um, as summer goes along, give you updates on this. Let you know if leaking or anything problems go on. Just uh, check it out in the bio below in the YouTube page here. And, of course, on my blog, um, which is on noblemoto.com, which is K-N-O-B-L-E-M-O-T-O.com. And, of course, Facebook, Instagram, all that good social media garbage. And uh, check out Cometic on their website. Um, got any problems, give them a call. And um, that's about all I got. Uh, right at the end of the video here, I'll post a uh, you know picture of the uh, torque pattern uh, for the uh, you know primary cover. And uh, if you like what you see, click subscribe. I think it's the link right down here somewhere. And uh, yeah, check out my other pages, my other uh, YouTube videos. That's all I got. See ya.